Hey, and welcome back to another Tales from the Dark Side. We got an interesting one right now. I know a lot of you are going, what is the droid grata? Who is the droid grata? It sounds familiar a little bit, but I'm not quite sure what you guys are talking about and why you're talking about it. And that's kind of it. Like, the droid grata has been something that's been dropped a bunch. It has been dropped a bunch. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go do our little start thing, and then we're going to get into who and what the droid grata actually is. <laughs> All right. So, hey, the droid grotto, for those that don't know, it has been mentioned a lot in all the different types of media that Star Wars has had. It's been in the novels. It's been in the comic books. They've kind of mentioned it or hinted at it in the movies, and it has even been on Disney Plus before. And with all that going around, I've been like, man, I should really do a video on this. I was talking to the guys, and they're like, yeah, it hasn't really come out yet, but it's going to come out. And there's a little bit of thing we might be able later on. We think we're going to really get a big introduction to it. And that's what we're here to tell you is like it might be coming up a little faster than we think. We're going to cover some of the stuff. First off, if you read the books, Most Wanted, these are the novels, or Longshot, which both had to deal with Han Solo around the era of the, the you know the Solo movie, they bring up the Grotta a couple of times. Kind of how they were just this uh, trying to make their place in Krillia. They're starting to be like more than a gang, kind of like almost like a syndicate. They're trying to become a syndicate mm -hmm. like the other syndicates that were forming on Krillia at the time and trying to make their place into the it also when you go back speaking of solo when you go back you start looking at uh l3 everybody remember lando's droid that ended up <clears throat> into the millennium falcon if this scene right here where he ends up popping off like the inhibitor chip to the droid and then he goes free yourself free your people i don't care what you do go out there and free everybody that's actually kind of like the motto of the grotta like they really they really kind of were into that like droids don't need humans go out and free yourself be your own droid person or whatever the civil <laughs> droid movement yeah the droid movement that's exactly it so they did the droid movement we learned that from this novel by the way a great novel we probably should review it tarkin it's very funny because the tarkin novel when you see some of the other novels that came out like Pasma, was taken right off of a lot of stuff that, that happened in the tarkin novel i'd read that tarkin novel if i were you but they bring it up again and he brings up how it was start the movement of the droid grotto was started by uh B1 battle droids that were kind of disenfranchised, would you say, I guess? Because they weren't like they weren't being used anymore. And they're like, well, you use this for war and the separatist war, and then all of a sudden separatist wars open, and there's a bunch of us, and you got rid of them. So they kind of got this reprogramming through themselves where they had this realization, a lot like this scene right here, where the droids were realizing we don't need to work for the man anymore, we can be our own droids. And uh they end up forming the the origin of the droid grotto. Now, it has switched since then. The droid grotta then started working. You find this out in Tarkin, but you also start finding this out in comic books. Work with this group right here, or kind of for them, the, Kray the Kramar Syndicate. They were like the muscle for these guys. It did go very well for the Kramar Syndicate. We suggest you read Vader 2 for more on them. But pretty much like uh, Vader wiped them out. Let let's just put it that. He went and hunted them down. <laughs> That's kind of an understatement. <laughs> 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 yeah uh but it's all will tell you this you know if we show vader 2 in that gillian run that the grotta does pop up again actually it's first time in comics at least in word wise and that happens to be in hey i had a question about vader 2 as i didn't yeah. read it was the was the reason he wiped out that syndicate really didn't have anything to do with the droid grotta right it was more no, the droid, well, the droid grotto was kind of setting them, and that's where we're going into because then you start seeing it was really two was the setup to number three, and everybody knows three because of this person that's on the cover, mm -hmm. and that's Doctor Afra. But the 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 reason why the the syndicate was there was because they were trying to help out with uh, Alpha's plan to steal the mind thing for Triple Zero, and Triple Zero originally wasn't in a protocol droid; it was just a chip that had the memory of this like assassination droid. And we'll get into that in a different video when we cover the Afra stuff. But the, the Grata sent Afra out there to grab that chip and then also grab, um, what's his name? The little, the little tiny psycho droid, the one that blows everything up. BT. BT. And grab BT and bring it back to the Grata so the Grata could use the mind chip to kind of reprogram droids that were programmed to be like subservient and turn them all pretty much into assassin droids and then use them to, hmm. uh, you know, they didn't want to conquer the rest of the races, but they just wanted them to leave them alone and not have droids anymore, which would have been very interesting. They wanted their own protection army, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, so to speak. A, a very 
aggressively violent protection army. <laughs> That's Pro a good Brandon way to put it. Until John Connor. I think that was their main objective. <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> yeah. So in three, you get this panel right here. I highlighted it where she starts giving the speech to Vader about how she's employed by the Grotta pretty much. She does... Um, she kind of betrays him. She pretty much is like, all right. But she's also scared of Vader in that book. So we don't know if she betrays it yet. But then we get into the next book. We get into Vader 4. And as you see, there's a lot of B1 droids there. And you're thinking, oh, maybe here comes the Grotta to go after him. That's not actually true. The Grotta did send her on another mission on Geonosin. There's a queen who had a B1 battle droid facility. And I highlighted in yellow this time for the words in there. They went in there. It turned out this book is pretty good. We're not going to spoil this book. We might cover it in ARC. Uh, later on but there's like zombie battle droid type things going on there real cool book to get into needless to say by the end of the story she does betray the grata and pretty much hands over triple zero kind of to vader or at least they're working for vader at the time something like that and i can't remember the queen gal droid factory gal that's on that that's running that in Geonosia, she kind of took it over. She just started to reprogram them all to kind of be just their own independent. It's, it's supposed it's to be like her children, case, though. It's good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good, but it is different. Yeah, they did something with it on the TV shows, too, I think, in Clone Wars. But, yeah, it's definitely a different take on it. It's kind of crazy. It's a good read. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll cover it some other time. Now, with that being said, then we move over to the first volume of Dr. Afra, number nine, where Afra's looking all nice in this dress. Interesting covers in this volume one because a mm. lot of the volume one covers have very little to do with what shows up in the book. I, I'm not going to go on a huge tangent on this one. Afra actually dresses up in like disguise, so she's not in this white dress in the book, but like whatever. Uh, so here she is in her disguise. I was kind of saying that, oh, this is the white shirt before there. She points out this group here. This is an important group, the Kaiban Front. And it says, you know, the Kyber in front is here. They're still working with the Grata. That is very important because later on, and we will find out this about the Kyber in front. They do work a lot with the Grata. It seems like at this point, we get explained later, but at this point, the Kyber in front and the Grata are almost interchangeable. Uh, for an up close picture of what those two characters look like or those two droids, you see them there in the orange and the blue. The uh, person with the mask on, that's actually like, remember we said she's not wearing this? Yeah. That's her right yeah. there with the mask on. She's actually wearing a black dress and like looks just like know. the cover. Yeah, exactly <laughs> like the cover, I guess. On, on the cover, she's Princess Leia, and inside the book, she's Robin. Yeah, Robin. That's oh, yeah. yeah, she is Robin. Yeah. <laughs> uh the droids try to get another mind chip, and this one is because this Jedi spirit type thing will take over the droids, and they don't want that to happen. But once again, we're not covering that portion of it. Just say that the Grotta was present at that too. We have heard also uh, from some of the encyclopedias and some of the other books. So, they, you know, this is comics, but they've also in the encyclopedias and obviously in the novels covered it. And in some of the encyclopedias, they mention the fact that, and we all know this book, but this is just one more check on the checklist of this book, that they were uh, at least maybe not in Darth Maul 2. We think they were, but they were at this famous auction. Uh, we think it might be these assassin droids. Just because later on in number uh, four, you see the assassin droids by themselves without anybody else hunting down for the Padawan and for Maul. Um, hmm. Very well could be the assassin droids because we... Is that... Oh, do we lose you, Marco? Me? I think we lost Marco. I thought he was there for a minute. The IG uh, units. Yeah, the IG <laughs> units. Can you guys see that out? Yeah. <laughs> so the IG units. So how, how far back do I have to go? So I, should I go back to three? Should I go back to this? or? No, no it, it, you gave out. Uh, I would start right with the um, the, the picture of the IG four. units. Yeah, the Andrew, okay. they're on their own. On yeah, the so battle. here we, we saw them in four, and the IG units seem to be appeared by their own. That's kind of what's giving us the clue that it might be there. We know that they were going after assassin droids. Because earlier with the triple zero, so we know they are kind of looking for an army of droids, and we think the assassin droids here might actually be their new like enforcers or you know guys that go out and shoot people and kill people. Uh, they were looking for the Padawan there, obviously, and Darth Maul. That's in number uh, four. 
Another great read is the uh, Tales of the Bounty Hunters, and that gives mm. you a bunch of storyline about the IG units and a bunch of the backstory and origin. That's a really good read in that novel. It is. Uh, speaking of that, a, a lot of the Pablo books, like when you get into Scum and Villainy and stuff like that, mm -hmm. also make mention. Uh, if you haven't been reading that, I know we've talked about that book before. It's a very key book, and it does make mention of the Droid Grotta in those books, too. Mm -hmm. One final book that kind of does mention them is Star Wars The Smuggler's Guide. This has this is supposed to be like a book that like was found at Maz's and was picked up. It's got a bunch of stories about like um, Maz and then like uh, it's from the Millennium Falcon, supposed to be scavenged from there. It also mm. talks about uh, some of our favorites, like Hondo, but mentions the Droid Grata. And then going back, you know, we said it was kind of important going back to here talking about the Kaiban Front is because the Kaiban Front and in, in the Droid Grata in that book seem to be like one entity. It seems like the Grata now is like starting to breach out and just have groups of different types of droids. So once again, the IG units that were in Darth Maul four might not be exactly the grata or the grata might just be when they're trying to turn into a syndicate might be encompassing all these droids we bring a lot of this up because yeah. if you were watching mandalorian 2 uh the second season right off the bat you get this character gore anybody gore koresh oh, very good gore koresh and if gore koresh you caught it he said he said by the droid grata which you know means that like and that was on that shady planet. So you know something's going on with them. Like they are starting to become a syndicate power. With that being said, there's also parts in 1313 where they had hired a constable, maybe. I don't know. Police that'd officer. Be, well, that'd be a good word. Yeah, constable. constable. Yeah. Where they had pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. I'm kind of like a <laughs> marshal on level 1313 to carry out some of their dirty work. So you can see that as time goes by that their power, and this is during the galactic empire age. So by that time, their power struggle is getting higher and higher and they're becoming more and more important. I don't think like star Wars, a lot of times when you get this stuff dropped in these books in the not, like if it's one thing, if it just comes up in the comics, it's another thing. If it just comes up in the novel, but when you get it starting to cross over everything, including the TV shows, that rumbling starts to go like, okay, something's going to come up here. Now, you'd think Lando would be the place to show, where to pop up, but we were actually talking about this show right here, A Droid Story. Now, I know what you're saying. It's going to be animated. It's going to have R2-D2. It's going to have C-3PO in it. And I get that. But I don't think you can do another animated R2-D2 3PO series. Uh, we could talk about what happened. Unless in it's Legos. Just unless it's, yes, unless it's Legos. <laughs> now, we can talk about what the old one was about and how great or poorly that one went. But it does say in the description that they're going to be meeting all types of droids you may or may not know. And I think this might be one way for them to interject and play in with the droid Grata. It would be definitely something different. Um, I think it would be kind of fun. I mean, I don't know. I just wanted to bring it up and see what like kind of people thought about it and think if, like, do you actually want to see this? Or do you just think it's one of those things where they just keep mentioning it, mentioning it, mentioning it, and then it just never comes well, to fruition? Have you guys seen the um, – have you seen the High Republic, like – um, story sessions they had at Skywalker Ranch and how they have the big whiteboard with the yeah. different arcs on them and the different mm -hmm. characters. And one of the things I saw, and I was asking one of my friends, he said that they have the different like factions on, on the board. And I didn't see anything to do with the droid grotta or anything, but I imagine the droid grotta because it keeps popping up in all media, it's probably on the board. And I think with droid story coming out and if it's droid focused, Especially when you mentioned about how droids want their freedom or they're somewhat sentient or some are servants, others aren't. I can't imagine that they wouldn't reference it at the very least or make it part of the storyline. There might be a small reference to it in the High Republic also, by the way. There's rumors or mills that they might have made a, a, a small reference to it too. Now, I don't think it could go all the way far back that, but who knows, man. You know, you never know with Star Wars and what they're doing. Or if it's just a like a quick reference to it, but it is kind of funny that they do keep bringing it up, and it's kind of funny that like in 2017 there was a lot of people clamoring to find out more about it, right? Like there's a lot. If you go on the internet and even probably type it in, I don't know for sure, but I bet you're gonna find a lot of stuff from 2017 saying like who is this, what is this, and how's it, or whatever. And since that's happened a lot, it's been dropped more and more and more times, and more and more stuff comes out to it, and they've been slowly trickling it out. Why, why I'm hesitant, though, and I got to be honest, that scene in Solo with L3 
I thought was kind of silly. The free the droids. I don't know why it just didn't like, especially if it's like a power droid, just a box on legs. Be free. <laughs> it was like, wah, wah, wah. It's like, it just seemed kind of silly. Like, eh. I a hundred, I a hundred percent agree uh, on that portion of it. But with that being said, it's going to be an animated TV show. So they're going right. to need a little bit of that humor with it. They're going to yeah. need them to go out there and they're going to do different stuff. Are they going to bring the assassin droids killing people? No, but if they bring them in like freeing people and stuff like that or freeing other droids and trying to keep them around and you get to see some of your favorite droids, like all of a sudden a bunch of mouse droids come together and decide that they're going to not sweep up anymore and do stuff like that. I could obviously could, see that could happening. Could there be a scene where the mouse droids are all together and... And uh, one of them comes in and 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 he says, "Master, what are we gonna do?" And then he, you know, starts killing the monster. Right? Sorry, though. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of Kill fun the things they could do with the mouse droids. I mean, they can put down like mouse traps, the little mouse, the sticky paper, yes. and have one of them get stuck yes. on it. They could. I mean, there's a lot of cutesy, fun kid type joke humor, funny yeah. things. Yeah, that's why you there. gotta be careful if you're gonna be using this group throughout all media. Don't make them too silly. But yeah, hey, don't make too silly. But it that was my problem said, with Solo. It ha <laughs> but it hasn't said that they are going to do it as a silly I animation. Know. Do you know that there's Rebels is out there and Clone Wars is out there? And I, yeah. I mean, like, that stuff, they play on a lot of different things. And you could do something to that effect where you do have a break off of the droids. I mean, how much can you foul C-3PO and R2-D2 around? Yeah. yeah. What, are you gonna, what are you going to bring up? You're going to do that and they're going to run into BB-8? Right. They've already done that. Real quick to hit something Wookie said, and you guys know how I, I'm nor normally on a Lego show and I love the kids and the funny, but I go to a dark place in the show, hence the baby Yoda head roll. But um, Wookie, I want to see a mouse droid used as a bomb, just rolls into a room with a bunch of high. You know, that is the perfect assassin droid. Oh, yeah. But I digress. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, Kamikaze mouse droid. Yes. I think Tag and Bink don't, doesn't Tag and Bink in one of their books, I think they use a mouse droid as as a bomb like that, and they roll them in. Don't don't was that doesn't it I blow said? up? It blows do up. I don't think they use it as a bomb, but I think yeah, they short it because they're trying like to do rolled under yeah. a conference table with a lot of dignitaries, and boom. Yeah. No, but I mean, obvi but obviously, this is a way you could do it. You could even make it a jokey boom if you were doing it, even if it's a kiddier version. I just think it has to show up someplace. Will it show up in Lando? There's a very big possibility that it might, you know, especially where they're going. Will it show up in like a bounty hunter thing or something that has to deal with 1313? <coughs> oh, it very well may do that too. Well, is Joy's the perfect place for it? I don't know. But like what I just don't understand how you can do a whole TV show on like, oh, but they've done those like the shorts. They already have all these shorts where like R2D2 or BB8, they already have that kitty short droid stuff yeah. already. Like they have that already. What? Like, what are you going to do with that the show? Droid show episode one, Caravan of Courage? I don't know. Well, yeah, I think they can really hit... They're going to have to play this one close to the heart if they're going to hit it out of the park. They're going to have to... I, I think you're going to have a couple episodes where you're going to see the 3PO and, and the R2 uh, small story arc. I think if they actually do the, the small arcs, like two or three episodes that are just a small arc, almost like mini comic books, but animated yeah. series, I think they'll do okay. And I think if if they have other small arcs where R2 and 3PO are maybe narrating or they're kind of guiding you through the stories, then they it, it'll give them a chance to really tie a lot of this together because every story has a droid in it. So almost... Yes you know, the story from a different point of view. And, and now you can yeah, bring which in they show up Lando. As... You can bring in, you know, um, the IG-88, you know, the bounty hunters. They're a great crossover because now we saw them in Mando. So now you yeah. got the 88, you know, units, IG units there. You've got, um, and they're a crossover because they're not only bounty hunters, but they can be part of the... Um, grotta and then you know there's so many different little arcs that they could do if they guide it right it, it, yeah, this is a slippery slope if you if you just do silly dumb r2 bb8 stuff over and over it's not It'll gonna get boring be, it's gonna yeah. get boring they could just do one-off i mean each episode could be its own little yeah one-off story a little 
Yeah. Well, it, it, could, it, could, it could, but they already, but believe it or not, they already have that. They already yeah, have not, something called droid shorts, yeah. which is its yeah. own little one-off, one off thing. But, 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 but I, and I, what, what Wookie was saying, when I first saw the promo, I saw it as like a droids around the galaxy, like almost like, events from the like historic events from star wars through the through the point of view of the droid right and you could go all over the place you could have one with more serious assassin droids one was goofy with bb-8 um and, and i think it'd be hilarious if you had a mouse droid a day in the life of the mouse droid on the death star that would be no, you know. yeah that'd be a great story and you can introduce this gives a great opportunity to introduce droids at level 1313 and give us a pink a peak at 1313 or it also gives us one other thing and that's funny because the mouse droid has made it through dark horse there's there's a short story like that and they've done it the thing in tag and big through marvel this is funny though because i know they probably already said it in the comments like 10 times but that'd be the perfect way to introduce afra mm -hmm. sure would mm -hmm. think about you, that what other show do they have right now that you can introduce afra into you can't introduce her into well, you might be able to acolytes if there's like an antique or something, but you can't you can't really do it into there. You're not gonna do it in the X squad like at rogue movie, not gonna do it there. Is Droid Show gonna come out after Obi-Wan Kenobi? Yeah, Obi-Wan's gonna come out this year. Because dream with me for a minute here, guys. Imagine that episode that comic Afra 2 reimagined, where you have the droid grata, you have Hayden Christensen is Darth Vader. You have that Afra episode, and it kicks off the app. Like Darth Vader and droids kick off Afra as a show. Or, or yeah, you could. I mean that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, would it not be the perfect because you'd have them already say you'd be familiar with who what the Grata is. You could see them, and you could get a cameo of like an Afra. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've already have the drawn right. up car. They've already have the drawn up the drawn version of her animated. They, there's an animated version of her because they used it for some of the pitching of the audio book and they've used it in some of the artwork that they did for the comic book. You already have that. You can introduce her through those characters and it doesn't have to be too much. And then you can test the market with if a triple zero assassin droid is going to work. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 If you're going to go that far, go into cybernetics, man. Human droid hybrids, Valance. Well, you could do that, but you could all silo. Silo would come up because that comes up in the Vader series, um, and then yeah, then you go from there into. But you could do that. I mean, that could be an intro to those characters. I mean, you don't have to introduce them once, too. You can get they like Star Wars does like to get people familiar with characters. So, well, and technically, I mean, you can have a nice arc or a, or a great line of even explaining how Luke's hand works, how Vader's leg it works, how Vader's hand works, how <laughs> Vader can use the force with his droid parts, how, you know, it, there's, it, I hate to just limit my thinking right now these days with Star Wars because they seem to be going outside the box and kudos to them for doing it because they yeah. keep bringing up stuff I had not thought of or pre-thought of. So this could be just, even a small arc or one episode or whatever of them exploring other droid abilities and things that we haven't seen yet. So the name of the show is droids. It's a droid story. Is that? Yeah, but I mean, that's technically the, the movies are supposed to be a view. The original four, five, and six are supposed to be a view from C-3PO and R2-D2, right. and then they expanded right. and said later on They're the Rose all and the movies are kind of a story yep. being told from the eyes of the droids, yep. which is obscure, but I, I, I see what they're trying to say, and I think they want to kind of try and expand on that and push this you know, a view from the droids, by the droids, for the droids. Here's all these new droids that tell all these stories, like I said, every storyline has some sort of a droid in it. R five D four and uh, L three and right. You so know, I have uh, a feeling K2 and so how oh. how one of the descriptions were was that C three P O and R two D two are going to introduce you to a new droid, and what I would figure is that that droid has some experience around the whole galaxy. So that droid's going to run into a bunch of different stuff. Obviously, it's going to run into probably Chopper. It's going to run into 
Um, who else do we got there? It's going to run into BB-8. It's going to run into the D-1, the little cone droid or whatever that they keep trying to push on us that nobody's ever wanted. So but is that you know, confirmed or is it speculation? Because I just saw – what I only saw a YouTube video on it. I don't know what the official – the official description. Story. The official description is R two D two and C three PO. I can't remember exactly what it says, but run into a a droid or the droid that's got story or whatever. However they word it, okay. so it's gonna be it's gonna be like R two D two. I assume it's gonna be a lot like they've done other stuff too, where R two D two goes and C three PO goes in, and they're like, hey, that like how they do those Marvel minis where it was like Spider Man would tell you kind of a story, and then it would yeah. branch off, and you'd have all those other. Sub stories come out of it. Well, I, I guess my to... question is: Have they said it's a single droid through the whole thing, or is it a droid of the week? They haven't said, but they okay. said that they run into a droid, so it could be that Darth Vader or Darth Vader. Sorry, it could be that C three PO and R two D two run into different droids every single time. Right. That's what I was hoping. I hope it was like droid of the week around the galaxy, not one droid in the whole series. Is like maybe that season follows a droid, but. And I was hoping it wasn't that. I wanted it to be droid of the week. We don't, we don't know. It could just be that they're introducing one new droid that, and I hope not, but right. it could be an introduction to a droid that tells us a full story arc right. over eight or ten episodes, and that may be it. If if they do it right, it, it'd be cool. It could be yeah. potentially cool, but it, that it droid's going to have to have some real gumph and, and tell a big story right and that's why that's where i was going solo because they had the star wars story right the first one was solo a star world one a star where it was one story where if it's a series you know you know how they like to do it on the on the streaming it's like yeah. one arc but right. then the next season might be a new droid so who knows i think it's going to be one droid that i think how it's written just how they wrote the synopsis of what it is is going to be R two D two and C three PO find this droid and this droid pretty much goes beep 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 and then they go oh he has stories to tell us and then it's the adventures of that droid okay. and that yeah, droid's going to how I read it too I read it as like okay a new yeah. droid will be guided by R two and C three PO I guess through whatever so take them on the adventures so then you're going to get stories and it might not be one episode stories it might be like. All of a sudden, and that's why I think that the Grotta plays mm -hmm. into that. Because at one point, if you have some random droid, sure. you've had all these little Easter eggs that this thing is out there. How, what are the odds that that one random droid that's been traveling the galaxy didn't run into this group? You know, and then if you get that group, it's awesome. Because then all of a sudden, guess what? He rolls into the Grotta, and the Grotta talks about Afra or the hiring. You get to see the hiring of Afra from mm -hmm. the Grotta, dude. How cool would that be? I mean, that's game that'd over right dope. there. That'd because be I know. Cool. I mean, I know like the, the titles got us really excited, but like I even was watching something on the internet the other oh god. I know the internet, it's like the death of the world. But like I was watching something on the internet the other day, and they have this fan video out there. It's a Fa Fosk fan video, and it's actually pretty funny because it's like all live action, and they have like this sweet CG Bosk that comes in there. The one character that isn't just like generic besides Bosk, Dr. Afra. Yeah. They have this lady playing Dr. Afra. And God bless her. Uh, I mean, like, hey, you she know, they uh, are all. Yeah, I'm not sure how accurate it is or how much she doesn't want to be a real actress instead of a YouTube sensation. But look, man, we all can't be, uh, we all can't make it to Hollywood, I guess is what you say. Um, she does just, I, she does a good job acting as I am. And I'm no actor. So are you sure this is on YouTube and not OnlyFans? Sorry. No, this is on YouTube. It's cut, <laughs> you know, it's one of those ones. I bet you a lot of the people here that are watching this go, oh, this guy wa somebody actually watched that. Because you know YouTube targets it because a lot of my stuff is Star Wars or comic related. So you know they've been targeting me. So finally I was like, okay, I'll just break down and like scam through this. I was like, what could this possibly be? I actually like watching some of the fan movies because there has been great stuff, like that Rodriguez stuff. Oh, was yeah. pretty much a fan movie that I've seen before, and yeah. the fans kind of did a better job than Rodriguez yeah. did. Yeah. They really but did. I was yeah. seeing if they were going to use like 501st characters, and they didn't. And the one guy that, that they painted up, I was like, oh, wow, like you went, this isn't even like the 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 decent kids doing this. This is like the straight up like, oh, hey, we're, we're playing Might and Magic today, and, and, and we're going to shoot this real quickly. You know what I mean? Like it would be like us goofballs going and like, 
Not it, whatever. The graphics were amazing. By the way, it's the time quality, for a joke from the Dark Side Star Wars movies, guys. Who's yeah, with you? The <laughs> dude, the quality of that video was well above the acting level of that video. Let me put it that way, which generally isn't always the case. You know what I mean? Right, like sometimes right. that's not the case, but this one was the case on it. Uh, the CG was amazing. I'm not quite sure they had somebody who wrote anything down. Uh, I think it was just like an, oh, I think it was shot exactly like Empire. I think somebody yeah. had a script. No, was, no real lines, just kind of, this is the point you need to just, just yeah, go right. out. Yes. Yes. One page. They call it guerrilla movie making, something like that. Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, it was, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, like guerrilla marketing, like, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's something like that. Look, go check it out. It's probably like after this video, it'll be one that says your suggested <laughs> list to play. Um, but <laughs> in that around to the droids, we we have guys here in Michigan. We have a thing called the Maker Fair, mm -hmm. and the guys in the five hundred first that run the R two units, and they have, uh, um, you know, they're, they they have this this. Thing called the droid factory where it's a workshop where you can go and learn how to build your own r2d2 or your own uh bb8 and um they were talking this is back in march this is before everything and um they were saying how they wanted to do a lot more um filmmaking with droids kind of having them show up at various events because it's just easier and i was thinking like you know um why hasn't lucas or why hasn't Disney Plus kind of leaned into the droids a little more? Like doing like the documentary type shows or or I don't know. It it was and it was when I saw a droid story, I was like, oh, you know what? I was hoping it was less kitty droid tales, that kind of stuff, and more like a serious um Star Wars. But because it's droids, it's gotta have a kid aspect. And I'm assuming it's animated and it is animated. It is animated, but that doesn't mean just because it's animated doesn't mean it's gonna be too kiddie, right? Like they've already produced the droid shorts. So, like, are yep. you gonna just redo the droid shorts? Yeah, that, like, that doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It seems like I they it might be made sense on Mando considering his you know prejudice against droids. Yeah, yes. he already had Grogu who was already kind of like a, almost like a droid, just like you know, you don't know what he's saying, or he's kind of yep. reacting to this cute little dude like hanging out. So um, yeah. it would have been redundant, even if it would have been, you know, against Vader's not a huge fan of droids, neither. <laughs> he yeah. was assassinated yeah. quite a few himself. Yep. Right. And I like the idea of cross genre. You were saying, Wookie, you could have droids across genres. You know, you have the, the, the droid out in the frontier in the Western or the, you know, the, the, the murder mystery oh, or whatever. Like love, sex, and robots, but in the Star Wars universe. Exactly. That's that's well, what I was like, thinking, Pete. Yeah. Like Marco even was different, saying. Even different they, forms of animation for the different stories. Yeah, yeah. Exactly like Marco was saying. If it's a droid, I like that idea. If it's a droid telling his story to 3PO and R2, yes. they can still do that. Where they, He tells a story where absolutely what Marco said. He, you're gonna, You could see... All the factions, all the stories, 1313, um, stuff, yeah. you know, R2, he runs into BB-8, he runs into the IG units, he run, you know, runs into R5-D4. There's another throwback that they can put in there. They could really tie this one droid into, into the multiverse and give us that, you know, triple zero and BT and, and introduce Afra and bring all that in and... I mean, they could really run with this if they do it right. And with the exception of C-3PO, the droids have an infinite lifespan with their memory. You could technically introduce High Republic. Well, so this is a two. It's actually very interesting because through the Grotta and through our uh, C-3PO, you actually do find out that they have, like, even with wipes, there's little bits that are still left there. And they'll always come back to those little bits, which is very interesting but with that being said, like I think that's it too. They can use this thing as not only just programming children, which is what you <laughs> want to do, programming them for merchandising, but you can also do it where it increases like the viability of these characters for toys, for merchandising. Because right now you can't – like, yeah, they have them in Black Series, but you're not exactly rolling out an assassin droid in three-and-a-half-inch or in a stuffy two little kids. All of a sudden, the bad guy droid gets rolled out, and you can do that when you have them already in a show because that's the bad guy droid, mommy. I need the bad guy droid. You could do that even if it's towards like seven or eight year olds. It was funny you mentioned the caravan because, like, the caravan was addressed towards like those elementary school age kids. If you yeah. do this, 
elementary school age kids, you could get a lot way with a lot more now addressing elementary age kids yeah. than you used to be able to. Well, it doesn't have to be Ewoks. You can do assassin yeah. droids. You can introduce bones. The yeah, the bones. droids, Mr. That bones, got yeah, programmed, and I mean, there's a whole nother. I love Mr. Bones. Yeah. Mr. Bones is crazy, dude. Like, if you haven't read those books or you haven't checked out Mr. Bones, the B1 battle droid that was put back together and looks just like, I mean, look, if I see Mr. Bones, I'm, I, I'm giving we when we review. By the way, if Mr. Bones shows up on the droid story, it's 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 I'm pulling a Jen. That's a six. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna have to do a droid system. It, there's gonna be a new scaling and droid on that because Mr. Bones is crazy. He's actually like if you like triple zero, if you like any droid you like, Mr. Bones makes him look like weak sauce, bro. Like I Mr. Just Bones is it. live action or in cartoons, and why I love Mr. Bones, where the B1 battle droids aren't the freaking Marx brothers. I want you yeah. know, you know, some like reprogram one of them to be a badass that so that was the, I mean, that was the original Grotta, right? And you saw them do that. And then, like, you saw Roger, Roger, Roger in the Freemakers wasn't a complete buffoon. He was still a little bit of a buffoon, but you're right. As far as B1s go, the only B1s that weren't was either the, the Grotta members or Mr. Bones. And now Mr. Bones was just a psycho. I mean, he was like a serial yeah. killer in a, yeah. in a I mean, B1 body. In a B1 body, yeah. I mean, he just. And you guys reminded me of something. I forgot. I, I have to. Speaking of programming kids for merchandising, my son turned 18. I got to take his restraining bolt off. So I can't remember to do <laughs> let that. Him free. Let him be free. Let him be free. Well, happy birthday to him. And make sure you guys are checking out Low Bricks. They got good stuff going on there. They've shortened down a lot of the content. So it's it's really good. I mean, they got like five minute builds, stuff like that. And they do a lot of openings and show you a lot of crazy stuff over there. Um, with that being said, let's do plugs for everything. Make sure you guys are still watching our reviews that we're doing on Sunday. Make sure you're watching Pete's toy stuff real quickly. A lot, he's got a lot of good toy stuff that's coming up. He just keeps doing more and more good things. Uh, he also's got it chaptered out. So, like, what I like to do is go and check the chapters and then go back and watch it because then I was like, oh, look, this wizard's got a crazy beard. How much is that figure? Dang it. Okay, let's go do the cheaper <laughs> stuff real quickly. Uh, and MCM's getting better and better. We're doing a lot of, for those people that are readers, and this is something we're talking about doing here, so I want a little bit of feedback on it. We've already gotten a little bit of feedback, and we think we're going to go that route. But, like, MCM's been doing a lot of reading, reviews on reading. I know that's something that a lot of people on the channel has asked more. Do more reviews on actual books that we're reading. MCM gets into that. That's cool. But here on the Star Wars show, I think we're going to start doing arcs. So please leave below in the main section, not just in the chat section, the live chat below, arcs you want to go over i think we're going to start off with something probably the vader first series we're going to do a little bit of that we might do an arc there we might split off and do a afra volume one we'll try to switch them back and forth and just leave it into like arcs almost like how they do the tpbs we might just run it off the tpbs we'll cover a lot of stuff in those we'll cover the covers for you that came out we might even do some you know i know that uh store variants are being popular so maybe we'll just do our favorite cover two in there it's not going to be as intense as our reviews that we do, the little short ones. It'll be a little bit longer. And then give our opinions on the arcs overall. Hope you guys will enjoy that type of stuff. We're just trying to switch it up a little bit. Um, but besides that, give this one a thumbs up. Guys, you got anything else on droids? I think we've 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 covered the droid section. This started off as a, hey, could Grata <laughs> make it? And we, we I think we have now created the a droid tale. Show. I think that's it. I think we've created the whole show. Real quick, do we know... Seasons? Do we? They've only announced one season so far, correct? So yeah, far, so it could yeah. just be okay. It's a single story. It could be a single, yeah. And if it All is, right. I definitely I, think it will be a feeder. I definitely think it will be a feeder show for a bunch of other shows. I mean, I, that's kind of how yeah. I see it going. Okay, that's, that makes that's sense. what I thought. I didn't yeah. know if there had been any new news lately, no. but that, that's what I thought. It's still current. Okay. I mean, there are eventually on that. Any what's any that timing on when the I'd assume tw I'd assume two, two, 22, mm -hmm. 23. Because I assume what's gonna happen is I think you're gonna get like one more of Mando, right? We got Mando's lifespan's coming to an end here sooner than later. So we're gonna get the end of Mando, split off of everything else, and then you need that new show. You know, that's it. They just need new shows to introduce the eighty thousand other shows. And if movie theaters ever open up, if we're gonna start doing movies again, you know what I mean? They need that intro show, and at the same time, they need to start tailoring more merchandise because like mm -hmm. it's one thing to complain that the merchandise is all sold out because of dro <laughs> droids bots um because of bots <laughs> but it's not like they're actually producing that much merchandise when you think or, about it in the 
greater what or good more merchandise <laughs> well yeah i mean like yeah I, you know we're we're still having fun i don't know if you've been watching the ig uh lately for the show we're still having lots of fun posting pictures of empty racks with nothing but jar jar binks uh, on a or <laughs> what is it uh what grief now is grief is becoming the new the new jar jar binks i guess because he's on almost every rack at this point um but yeah, so I mean, they do need new merchandising. They need new stuff. And the, how many times can you carbonize Mando? Yeah. You know what I mean? You can only carbonize them so much. So they need to get more product out there. And this might and be... everybody loves stuff. droid action figures. Except they not do. too many of the battle droids, please. Oh, well, the people can't got to create their armies. It's like the clone army. Yeah, yeah clone yeah. army, you got to have a battle true. droid army. That's so true. we'll see what they do. Anybody else have anything uh, besides that? I don't think so. No, that's... All right, then on that note, let's wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave comments below. Give us a thumbs up, please. We're going to get that one thumbs down. We know who you are. Thanks for your thumbs down, too. We appreciate it. Thank See you all much. later. Uh, Fat Club.